Hi guys, my name is Golgi Maimon from uh, Toronto, Canada and today we're going to be finally reviewing the Jordan 1 UNC to Chicago's and they finally came, they finally delivered a month later since I ordered. So let's open this up. So guys, the video has many sections. The, if you look at the buffering part, it has many sections. So I talk about the design, I talk about sizing, I talk about resale, and I also talk about next drop, which I think is the best place to buy sneakers in Canada. So skip to the sections that you want to listen to. So this colorway commemorates Michael Jordan's legendary career from University of North Carolina Tar Heels, where he won a national title, to Chicago Bulls, where he won six world championships. There were two different UNC to Chicago themed Jordan ones releasing. The first one released in all the way back in holiday 2019 it was called the fearless one, the pattern leather one. And the other one is this woman's exclusive, which released this year on February 14th. It follows the same split, split color blocking as the fearless, but the, the powder blue of the UNC at the rear and the red of the bowls at the front. Heavily tumbled leather is utilized in every single panel with blacks providing the base, red on the toe cap and dark powder blue on the collars and heel overlays. The red on the toe, the tongue and the outsole give off that red white. The tongue's Nike Air branding is gym red while the original Wings logo is dressed in black. And then a nice contrasting white midsole completes the design. Another interesting detail is that the right insole is red and the left insole of the left shoe is blue. I don't know what this particular thing is called but it looks really nice and I'll keep it on because I think it does add a lot to the personality of this particular shoe. The quality of the leather is incredible. It's the best I have seen. It is at the level of shattered blackboards. It's buttery smooth. From the black to the red to the blue, everything is. The shoe really has that premium feel. These are an extremely versatile shoes. You can dress it up <laughs> with anything and uh, it'll look amazing in under any lightings. The standout appeal of this is crazy because of the contrasting color palette of the black, red and blue. Yeah, every time I see pictures of this on Instagram, I just it, it looks so amazing on pictures and in person. I wanted them for so bad for so long and I'm so excited to finally have them. I think for me, these are the best looking sneakers. One of the best looking sneakers I have ever seen. Not exaggerating. It's releasing in women's, preschool, toddler, all the way to crib sizing. It comes in extended sizes, so all the way to 16 and a half women. So that comes to 15 men. So if you want to buy it, it comes in your size. I don't think guys mind anymore buying women's exclusives too, especially when it looks and the execution is so Perfect. It released for 225 Canadian and 170 USD. The higher sizes are doing generally well. My particular 12 woman size is currently selling on average for 350 Canadian and 400 dollars locally. That's roughly the average selling price of sizes higher than nine and a half and below 14. That's 60 percent over retail. It's hard to say where it'll, where it'll end up in the future looking at the situation at the world but I do expect these to at least peak to 450 Canadian 
on StockX and locally around 500 Canadian at least for higher sizes because I think this is a very much color rate is in huge demand and the demand will continue to grow. I bought these on Next Drop, which I think again is the best sneaker buying place in Canada. They have a very similar outline as StockX and they function in a very similar way. They have the same lowest ask and the highest bid mechanism. The asks are in blue and uh, the highest bids are in red at the bottom of it. So after you purchase the item, the seller sends it to Nextdrop where they authenticate it, they legit check it just like StockX and they send it to you. They have a 100% authentication rate so far. Let's not talk about StockX. And the best part is you don't get to pay duties as a Canadian. Canadians have to pay 40% on shoes which they buy from anywhere outside Canada if the shoe is not made in, in US or some parts of Europe. And because Next Drop is Canadian based, everything is done in Canada. The shoe, the seller sells in Canada and Next Drop ships from Canada. So it's, it's completely Canadian. So you don't, you don't need to pay duties. Coming back to it, if it turns out to be inauthentic, you contact them, they'll 100% refund you your money. If you try to sell, they have the same 12.5% fees as StockX, but you'll be saving 10 to $15 on shipping, which the StockX charges. Plus, if you try to sell on StockX and you sent it to StockX, and for some reason, they, don't, they fail to authenticate your item, even if it's completely authentic, they're gonna send it back to you. And then are you gonna pay the duties again because it's crossing the border again? And never mind the delivery times from US. This got delivered in a month. And this happened in Canada. And that is because of Canada Post because Canada Post is having record number of deliveries this pandemic season. <laughs> like Christmas season record level. So that's why it's been delivered late and even if and I expect to be all deliveries to be this late. What's the solution? Switch to UPS? I don't know. And the packaging they arrived are pretty really secure as you saw. So the actual box is not damaged. I'll tell you my brief personal experience. So I bought the size 12 and a half. When it went to legit check, it turned out to be fake. So next drop informed me and they refunded my money right away. Why do people do that? Why would someone deal with fakes? It's such a disgusting move. Such a classless move, man. But thank God the legit check saved me. And I ordered the size 12 when it came in and uh, I saw some inconsistency on the shoe. Like there were some glue patches on the toe and the swoosh and one of the laces stitching wasn't quite appreciable. I, I got really worried. So I was like, what if I got fakes? So. So I contacted the customer service. So Mo at the customer service took a look at all the pictures and he assured me that uh, the quality of Air Jordan 1s have deteriorated over the years and there are inconsistencies in a lot of Air Jordan 1s. And just to make me more satisfied, he said, I'll go talk to my team and I'll come back and I'll let you know after showing them the pictures. After, so he came back after an hour and he said that his authenticators at next drop completely verify this and he mentioned that i'll read the text to you he talked to our authenticator he says it's all fine all the shoes don't look exactly 100 percent the same and we've noticed that especially with the air journal one for example we had a couple of travis scott's air journal ones come through last week and there were slight differences which is all due to quality control control and whatnot concerning glue patch is very common on air journal ones and easy also so this is the type of customer service you need. So I'll leave the link to their website in the description below. So please check them out. It's better that more people, because a lot of people don't know about this. If the more people know about this, the better it's for everybody because there are gonna be more people trying to sell. There'll be more shoes available, more sizes available. It's gonna be better for everybody. So I think it's the best place because you're getting a legit check and uh, you don't get legit check on KGG. And let's not talk about KGG, man. I got scammed two times and 
people have attempted to scam me five times. Trust me, be careful KGG. Just be careful. It doesn't mean that you won't get things there, but just be careful. Well, that's it from my side. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, by the way, today I got exclusive access on the Adidas app to buy the Yeezy Wave Runners. Bro, my collection just after the Wave Runner, I just feel happy with my collection now. It's, I don't, I'm happy. So I'll review those two when they come in. So, and uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll give you an on foot look and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.